Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, uh, gobble gobble. Uh, hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving, wishing you lots of leftovers. And uh, like me, I hope you're feeling very uh, grateful uh, and thankful for everything that, uh, that we all have this holiday season. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. Uh, today, I will share a few things that have been going on in the drone industry over the past week. Before we get started, a friendly reminder that our Black Fly Day sale over at Drone Pilot Ground School is happening now. Uh, the sale ends on Tuesday, so if you've been thinking about becoming a certified drone pilot, head over to the link below to get your Black Fly Day deal. Uh, and in the spirit of the holidays, we've also put together a wonderful uh, holiday gift guide for the uh, drone tech enthusiasts, so we'll share that below as well. All right, let's jump into this week's stories. Skydio, the U.S. drone manufacturing company that raised $170 million last year, will be hosting an event called Dock Day on December 7th. They will unveil the Skydio Dock, which is a lightweight, weatherproof charging station that's so small it can fit inside a carry-on bag. So who are these docks for? Imagine being able to program and schedule your drone to live outside in a weatherproof box. Uh, maybe if you're a penitentiary system, you're wanting to program that drone to patrol a specific area several times a day. Or maybe you're doing a more remote inspection and need to fly once every couple of weeks. Uh, we've seen these autonomous drone in a box uh, solutions before from companies like Aerobotics and Percepto, uh, but Skydio is uh, here in the US. They've raised a boatload, uh, or should I say drone load, although that's not that much because drones are much smaller than boats. Uh, anyway, they raised a lot of money, and uh, also with remote ID being rolled out and some of the regulations here in the U.S. opening up, this might be the perfect time to introduce this technology. And related to this, Skydio has announced a new offering called Skydio Regulatory Services. So you'll pay for this autonomous docking system, and then you'll probably also have to pay Skydio to help guide you through the FAA approval process for flying beyond visual line of sight. Uh, interesting business model, reminds me of what uh, Precision Hawk was doing uh, a few years ago, but I feel like the timing is a little more correct here. Uh, more on these Skydio updates in the description below. Next up, Amazon has unveiled a new design for its delivery drone, which will come into service in 2024. It's called the MK30. Uh, it's lighter and smaller than its predecessor. Uh, the MK30 has a longer range, can withstand greater temperatures, uh, and it can fly in light rain all of which will help improve Amazon's ability to make deliveries. It's also quieter, uh, making 25% less noise uh, than the last version of this model. After years of challenges with its drone delivery program, it seems like Amazon is finally making some progress. Hopefully, we'll be able to report more of their efforts in the months to come. Lastly, check this out. Uh, in this short video, DJI seems to be teasing a new augmented reality feature. Uh, we hear the old DJI remote control start up with its signature sound, and then the AR imagery begins. Uh, the drone that appears seems to be a Mini 2, along with several other AR images. Uh, if DJI does roll out AR, it would most likely do so by adding it to its FPV goggles. And there haven't been any formal announcements, but this video is coming directly from the DJI account, so it seems very likely that it won't be too long before we learn more. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to learn more. Uh, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel, uh, by commenting on any of these stories uh, below. Hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, good luck to any of you Black Friday uh, or Black Fly Day shoppers out there. Uh, and as always, wishing all of our drone pilots blue skies and safe flying.